Hey YouTube. Uh, so I did some videos recently about IDPA. What you know? Why you should join IDPA? Uh, remember this? IDPA. Join. Do it. If you're a pistol person. You think you're going to use a pistol for self-defense? That's uh, practical, pra practical, useful, uh, everyday, relevant. Um, way to practice uh, shooting for self-defense purposes. If you're not into self-defense or just into pistol competitions, I'd highly recommend it. It's a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, good camaraderie. You get to shoot a lot of rounds. You get to shoot at moving stuff, uh, etc. Really fun. What do you need? You need a pistol. You need magazines. You need a magazine holder. You need a flashlight. Uh, so this is not about the pistol or the magazine holder. It's about the flashlight and what kind of flashlight do you need? Well, most people go for really bright quote-unquote tactical flashlight. I'm sick of tactical, really. Everything's tactical. You, you just need a bright light. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, bright, reliable light. Preferably one that has some pouch, some sort of pouch. So this is actually a um, Phoenix TK11. Uh, it's a really nice light. Uh, here it is, close up of it. Really, really nice. Uh, it's got a bezel. You can, you know, you can smash somebody with it. Which is, there's plenty of people on the list that I'd like to, but um, I won't because I'm a civilized human being. Um, really nice light. It's got a bright and a, a, um, a low beam. I won't go through the review light because that's not the purpose. There's a lot of reviews out there on this light. It's very good, solidly built. It's like a tank. Great light. The problem with the light is this, the holster, or the pouch, whatever you want to call it. It's nylon. It's crap. It's too floppy. You have this on your belt in an IDPA competition, even if you fold this thing out of the way, it gets stuck in there and you can't get it out off your belt. And that makes you uncompetitive. This is junk, in my opinion. This is like a 50 cent item. They should improve this or else make an alternative. They don't. The problem with the Phoenix lights is that accessories for them are relatively hard to come by compared to some of the more uh, popular brands like Surefire. That's not to say the lights themselves are bad. The lights themselves are outstanding uh, by, every, by every measure. But this is junk. You know? If you want to use that for camping and some or something like that, you know, you know, rock on. Uh, why you would need a tactical light to go camping is, I don't know, it's beyond me. I've spent a lot of time in the woods and I never needed a tactical light for anything. But anyway, um, so problem solved with that um, through this company here. So this is going to be a bit of an unboxing. You can see here, Comtac Victory Gear. Uh, they're in Texas. Um, uh, they make a lot of nice stuff, a lot of not a, a very nice holster line, and uh, they make products that you aftermarket products uh, that will fit the Phoenix TK11 and other Phoenix lights, and be very very uh, useful, particularly for competition shooting. So what's what comes in the uh, what comes in the box? Well, I'll just take all this out and we'll go through it piece by piece. Um, join the NF NRA um, pamphlet. If you're not a member of the NRA, you're stupid. Particularly if you're watching gun vids and uh, you consider yourself a gun guy or gal if you're not supporting these folks, as well as your local Gun Owners Action League. Shame on you. Shame on you. Join. And you can save $10. Uh, uh, if you join through, the, for instance, this method. If you belong to a gun club, you can join, and like the NRA will give money back to your gun club. Uh, join the NRA. Don't be foolish. And if you're not a member of the NRA, I hope they go to your house first and take your guns away from you. Okay, NRA. Uh, instructions, if you need instructions on how to use this piece of equipment. And the piece of equipment itself, which is a uh, compact, Comtac Victory Gear light holder for, in this case, the Phoenix TK-10. The Phoenix TK-10 and TK-11 are very, very similar. The TK-11 is sort of a new version of it. Um, and this is a light pouch that will actually, uh, because of the bezel diameter, will actually hold the TK-11 as well. 
um, and it's the, the way you attach it to your belt is by a tech lock attachment. There's other attachments they have. I ordered the tech lock because it's a little bit more adjustable in terms of belt width. Uh, and here it is in its nice little plastic package. Um, in the package is their business card and it comes with an Allen wrench stuck to it. Here's the information you can get. You can contact these folks directly if you like. Allen wrench to uh, do some tension adjustments on the on the magazine pouch. A pack of Smarties. Um, it's kind of folksy. I don't know why they do this, but um, the kids will like them. Okay, and um, the magazine, uh, the the light pouch, it's uh, light holder or light pouch itself. It's made out of plastics. It, um, there's a couple of things that are a little bit funky. I don't know how well you can see it, but right here, it's <laughs> somebody just scratched into it. Phoenix TK10. I, I don't. That doesn't fit the, you know, the definition of elegance in my book. But who cares? Um, two screws here. The top screws to adjust the tension of the pouch, depending on how you like your light held, and the set, and that also secures it to the bracket, and the second one secures it to the bracket. Okay. So how does this work? Uh, this uh, simply, you put it on your belt. You can imagine this would be on your left side if you're a right-handed shooter. Um, the light goes in there, like so. And now with your left hand, you can activate your light and draw it very quickly. Okay. And what's nice about that, um, it's, since it's hard plastic, it won't collapse, won't catch your magazine. It won't catch your light and get it stuck or trapped. So this is what you need and it allows for speedy um, speedy uh, recovery of or, or recovery of your light from from its holding device. Um, this is an excellent gun for IDPA Glock 22. It's uh, unloaded and um, which ideally what you're what you're looking for is when you draw this light with your left hand you activate it okay it is on you're gonna come up into a position like this okay so this is your classic cigar grip there's a number of ways you can do this some people grab it like this some people grab it through their pinky it, that's really up to you how you what feels comfortable for you and uh, if you you know now you have some fingers free where you can grab a second magazine and do a reload. Okay, um, so let's just do some close-ups of uh, of this uh, this light holder. It's really well made. There's the bottom of it. Uh, it's very very lightweight. I don't know what it weighs, but it's it's insignificant. The way you open it, put it on the belt, is you pull this lever back squeeze in these ears and it just pops right open. These uh, adjust the thickness so it doesn't slide back and forth uh, depending on your belt uh, or up and down depending on your belt width uh, so they can come out or be moved appropriately so it fits up to a one and three quarter inch belt um, Then this just closes snaps in and this locks it in. It's a standard tech lock attachment. Very nice device. I highly recommend it. Um, at least it's news to me, or the first example of an aftermarket product that was really useful for IDPA um, uh, for me. Uh, you know, again, you can take a really nice bright, bright light. That's pretty bright and um, relatively inexpensive compared to some of the Surefires. Built like a tank, I think it compares to them very favorably and now you have a device that you can use for competition. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and uh, I'm getting close to approaching 200 subs. I'm a bit off, and I, I, uh, I just want to thank everybody that's uh, watched and uh, gave positive comments. Thanks a lot, take care.